Look, Ariel's hygienic cleaning system removes dirt and the lingering bacteria that causes odour, even at today's low temperatures. The smell's gone. Then the bacteria's gone. So you'd say for stubborn stains and lingering odours, nothing outperforms Ariel Automatic. No, I'd say that on tough dirt and smells, nothing beats Ariel. Oh, right. Now there's Allinson Grain Store. Whole meal bread with soft old grains of wheat, oats and rye. Now taken out, whole grains put in. At 3.30, it'll be time for The Young Doctors. Now, PSI. psychology, suspicion and intuition, two teams of top panellists trying to identify international celebrities by a series of ludicrous... Or ...be tried by a special tribunal of judges and MPs. If found guilty, he could be sentenced to life imprisonment. Several hours on their way through, when young East Germans stood on the tracks and desperately tried to clamber aboard. Several were injured in the process, some of them seriously. Rescue work at the collapsed tenement building in Edinburgh has been suspended because of cracks in a neighbouring building. Structural engineers have been called in to give advice. During the night, rescuers found the body of a second victim, a young man in his 20s. 24 hours after the explosion, it's still not known exactly how many people were inside the six-storey building when it collapsed. The comedian Graham Chapman has died at the age of 48. He'd been suffering from cancer. Graham Chapman was one of the founders of the Monty Python team, which broke new ground in television comedy 20 years ago and acquired a large cult following. Three of his Python colleagues were with him in hospital when he died. Fawaz Yunus, a Lebanese militiaman convicted of hijacking a Jordanian airliner in 1985, has been jailed for 30 years in Washington. Yunus was one of five men who stormed the plane at Beirut airport. He's the first person to be convicted under an American law which makes it a crime to attack or hijack US citizens anywhere in the world. Reports from Panama say that 28 people were killed during the abortive coup against General Noriega. The general appears to be using the failed coup to consolidate his position. At a rally in Panama City, he said the head of military intelligence was being held and he claimed to have photographic proof of US involvement in this latest attempt to remove him from power. And that's it for the moment. The next news is at 10 o'clock. A very good morning to you. We're coming into a much more unsettled spell of weather. There'll be some rain for just about all of us today. You can see on the radar picture, most of it at the moment is on the western side. And this is going to push its way eastwards through today, giving two or three hours of rain, eventually getting right across to the southeast coast during the later part of the afternoon. Clearer weather feeding in behind, but look up to the north. Yet a lot more rain to come. In that rain, turning a good deal cooler and turning quite windy as well. Well, that's it from me. Bye-bye for now. Thursday night on one. On Top of the Pops, Cher, Curiosity Killed the Cat and Bross. At 7.30, the Queen Vicks polishing up its act for a talent contest. Here, yeah, how's the monologue going, Frank? Oh, I got the first two verses off, Pat. Oh, I didn't know she wrote poems. At 8, a man who's never short of a line or two, Les Dawson. It was very, very nice tonight. Rather Spanish, if I may say them. Like an onion. <laughs> At 8.30, it's chocks away when Alf's Wonderlust takes him down under. How important is the mind, Trevor? You meet people, see their way of life, examine their culture, taste their food, catch their diseases. <laughs> After the news, catch this. I love you. <laughs> I want to kiss your cherry lips and nibble your shell-like ears. <laughs> at 10, Crime Watch UK asks for your help in solving a raid at the home of a Derbyshire businessman. And at 10.45 in question time from Labour's Conference at Brighton, my guests will be John Smith, Kenneth Baker, Baroness Sear and Arthur Scargill.
With Crime Watch Update and Horse of the Year show to finish, this is Thursday Night on One. In just under 25 minutes, we begin our live coverage of today's debates at the Labour Party conference. First on BBC One, John Sachs is here with another round of Four Square. I'm John Sachs. It must be four square. We've got four quarter finalists so far. We're looking for another one today. So let's meet Valerie Edmondson and Jim Hankin. <laughs> Welcome back, Valerie. Uh, a you. change of clothing, and you're looking great. Now, uh, last time I was trying to weed out uh, your gardening tips. Uh, what, what are you good at in the gardening? Well, to be honest, that's the thing I am good at: pulling the weeds up. Pulling the weeds. They usually do that at discos, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> pulling weeds. Good luck to you, Valerie. Have Thank a good uh, time today. Jim, welcome back from uh, lovely Cardiff. Now, uh, I heard that you once went to a casino and did very well. Tell me about that, Jim. I was earning about £17 a week. We went to a casino. I had a very good win. I threw the croupier two £5 croups, pour le service. Uh, when I got out to cash up, I'd thrown him two fifties. You'd thrown half your money away. <laughs> I'd thrown more. They must than have half thought, hey, away. the big spender. Yes. <laughs> well, Jim, you're welcome, and uh, there's no chips today. What we're going to do is hopefully open up a bank account for you, and what we'll be doing is banking. Unofficial and the chips. Bake for 20 minutes, and there's tender chicken breast, mildly coated in crisp breadcrumbs, and filled with fresh garlic and parsley butter. Make yourself scarce, Morris. What? She phoned and cancelled? Well, I've done Sun Valley Chicken Kiev for two. <laughs> All right, Morris, you'll do. Chicken Kiev, another fresh taste from Sun Valley. ITV tonight at eight. The bill and the missing person. I've told you, I haven't seen him. That was yesterday. Still haven't seen him. You got an oppo with you? No. Well, there was someone watching you. There. You're being followed, old son. Get in! Get in, will you? A suspicious observer, but who's chasing who? The Bill Investigate, tonight at 8 on ITV. This is Thames Television. It's 10.40 in time for today's edition of This Morning with Judy Finnegan and Richard Makeley. Good morning. They're all at it, you know. They're all at it. Tina Turner, Sunita, Juliet Mills, Joan Collins, and even Janet Street Porter. They've all got toy boys. The younger man is in. And I can't begin to imagine why. And if the kids are watching and wondering why Mum gets in such bad moods on a regular basis, she may need a toy boy, but probably not. Stay put, because we'll have the answer. But there's more to this Thursday morning than that. Anna Subri will kick us off in a minute with the Soap Suds Roundup. At 11 o'clock, the start of a new series, Toy Box, which examines the importance of your child's toys. But why should the kids have all the fun? Toy boys are apparently all the rage, and Gail Tills is here to tell us all about it, with a little help from the prof. The men probably, there may be some who quite fancy an older woman, uh, almost a substitute mother figure. At 11.45, New Start finds two women whose pregnancies produced not only babies, but a new business. And after the midday news, we follow up the story of a very special boy who's aiming to make a dream come true. I think it's the best medicine in the world. Yeah. He's absolutely bad. He's been in it. And he's, he's loving every minute of being a star. And if you suffer from depression...
This ambulance is being got ready in case there's an emergency. The ambulance crew are starting their day's work. They begin their checks to see that everything is in order. One of them is checking the oxygen machine to make sure it's working properly. The other one is checking that there's oil and water in the engine. Then he checks to see if the blue light is working and that the two-way radio is in order. Sharon Bravo 9 forever. Sharon Bravo 9 forever. Bravo 9 for radio. Teachers may like to know that a pupil's book on the Soviet Union will be available shortly, price $5.95. For further details on how to order this new publication, please ring BBC Education 01-991-8031. In just over 20 minutes, we'll be looking at the role of the removal firm and an estate agent when you move house. That's in Job Bank, just after midday. Now on to... MI-10 are on the road again, working their way round a maze. That will be after they've deciphered part two of Pascal's Triangle.
1, 4, 10, 20, 35. Hmm. No, I think I'll let you investigate this. Hello again. Here's another idea. Instead of looking diagonally down Pascal's triangle, look at one row at a time. Try adding the numbers in each row. One. One plus one. One plus two plus one. And so on. One, two, four. Can you guess what the total will be for the next row? In other words, can you spot a pattern in the totals? And why should there be any pattern? Here's a clue. Suppose you toss two coins, then you can get heads and heads, or heads and tails, or tails then heads, or tails then tails. Now, are these two pairs the same or not? It's up to you. If you're only interested in the number of heads you can get, you can say there are two heads, one head, or no heads. That's three possible results. You'd be saying these were the same, that the order doesn't matter, it's just heads and tails. But if you decide that heads than tails was different from tails than heads, then there are four possible results. One plus two plus one make four. Now suppose you toss three coins. The first two could land in any of these ways. Suppose they came down heads and heads. Then the three coins could be heads, heads and heads. Or heads, heads and tails. And suppose you toss... No, it's your investigation, not mine. middle of a piece of mathematical landscaping, a maze. This particular maze is nearly 300 years old. It was built for King William III at Hampton Court Palace near London. The question is, how do I get out? Well, there seems to be only one choice here.
just like that. You'll have guessed I had a map, and I worked it all out in advance. I started here, and I went this way. Even with a map, it's not always very easy. You start here, and you have to get to here.